move on to Wednesday night's action. We've got Buffalo and Miami, Ohio. Uh, we've got the Red Hawks, nine-point home favorites here, 41 being the total uh, in this one. I mean, it's tough to really, really get behind Buffalo at this point in time. Uh, it's a team that, uh, unfortunately, uh, they've kind of hit the uh, uh, skids here down the stretch. They've lost three of their last four games, uh, one and three straight up in ATS during that span. The only win in cover was against a pretty damn lousy Kent State team. Uh, that's not exactly what you want to see. Uh, Miami, oh, look, uh, last week, no uh, Brett Gabbert down to Avion Smith. Uh, no problem. They won that game, although their offense wasn't crisp. It wasn't great, but Avion Smith at least didn't make too many mistakes. I uh, was able to at least put some points on the board and let this very good defense uh, take care of the rest. But, you know, he only had 50 passing yards. It was mostly the run game that got going for uh, Miami O last week against uh, a very bad Akron team. Um, so we'll see if they can have some better offensive mojo. But the thing is right now with Miami, their defense is playing so well. They, they are capable of covering a number like this, uh, even though they're laying nine. And I don't know if I have enough faith here in Buffalo uh, particularly on the roads. You look at some of these Buffalo road performances, um, you know, it's been a little bit tricky uh, to trust them. The Toledo game in particular, uh, Kent State, uh, they were a favorite in that game. Uh, they did win outright as a small dog at against Akron, but, you know, Akron, one of the worst teams in the conference. Uh, last year, these teams met. Buffalo actually beat Miami O last year, 24-20 to uh, in that game. Uh, Miami O, though, the last time they hosted Buffalo in this stadium, 45-18, they crushed this Buffalo team. So this is a tough one for me. I don't know if I'm want to lay nine, but uh, I've, after the last few games here, I'm, I have a hard time running to the window to bet Buffalo either. So as of now, it's a pass for me. In this game, I don't think I could get with Buffalo. here. <laughs> I just – and it's not that I'm – I lean to Miami, Ohio, I guess, laying the points. I just – I don't really want to weigh doubles, you know, in this conference a ton unless I really feel good about it. Their defense is great, and they've been great against the number, though. I have to, you know, they're 8-2, and two, you know, top team this year. If you've been betting on Miami, Ohio, they've been getting the job done for you. And how is Buffalo going to score? Like, I think their, their team total under. The way they just can't get it in the end zone, and this Miami, Ohio defense has been very, very good. Um, maybe look that route, uh, team total under Buffalo. 